this is my area here. This is where I do all of my creativity. And this was the place I couldn't get to when I was in a wheelchair with a cane, with a walker. You can't, you can't come down a flight of stairs to a work area. And when my hips started to go, my lifestyle was impacted. I'd been going to a different practice, different orthopedic group, and for a long time. And, and they would have me go for physical therapy. So I had a relationship now with my, with, with my physical therapist. I said to her, who do you see as, a, as patients that have had terrific outcomes from hip surgeries? Who, what practice are they mainly coming from? And she said, without even blink, Panorama Orthopedics. When you're considering having your hip replaced, um, number one, you want to make sure that you have pain that is uh, a pain that interferes with your activities of daily living and is affecting your quality of life. Um, when you've tried non-surgical things such as anti-inflammatories like Advil or Aleve, um, some people have tried physical therapy or injections into the hip. When all those non-surgical modalities fail and you continue to have disabling hip pain, that's the time where you would uh, consider hip replacement. You know, it started with like a little twinge. Then you progress into the pain where there's just a kind of a throbbing, toothachey pain. I could walk across a room and kind of feel like my hip was going to go out on me. That was my, okay, it's time. It's time. When Deb came to me, she had been in pain for a long time, over a year. Um, she was very motivated to get, it, get out of pain. She had had a, a hip replacement on her left side uh, from a traditional approach and was having some issues with that. My first surgery, my first hip with the other group, the surgeon had made my leg a half an inch longer. So I was always kind of off kilter when I walked. One of the things we can do with the surgery is we can lengthen her leg to restore her normal uh, leg length and, and equalize things. And, uh, that's what we were able to do in, in the case with Ms. King. With Dr. Peace, he does an anterior approach from the front. And as he explained to me, it was because there are fewer muscle groups to go through, then your recovery is much easier and much quicker. And boy, was it ever. So when we look at the x-rays, uh, this is a view where we're looking at the front and the back of the hip. So when we look in back here, the space that's in there is cartilage, so the cartilage doesn't show up on the x-ray. So in the back portion, as well as in the center, she has good normal cartilage. As we get to the front, all that cartilage has worn away and the bones are rubbing up against each other and that creates the pain. I said, well, how soon will I be able to be up and walking? Or He said, oh, that same day. Depending on what, what time of day we do your surgery, you'll be up that evening for sure. How long before I'm back to my regular life? He said, about four weeks, four to six weeks would be about right. So we came home and I talked to my husband about it and we scheduled the surgery, but we also booked a cruise. And the cruise was four weeks out. I called and I asked if I could do my six week checkup early. And we did that at four weeks and I asked, do you see any reason why I can't go on this cruise? I walked in on my own steam. I walked out on my own steam. We laughed about it and he said, you're fine. So these are the x-rays after the surgery. So when we look, this white hemisphere here is the socket. Uh, inside of there is a plastic liner that this ball articulates with that provides the cushioning for the joint. This is the stem that goes down inside the bone. It has a porous coating on it that her bone actually grows into. So when you look at the x-rays, everything is in perfect position and everything is healed in nicely. It was an all-around positive, positive experience. The kids know I'm grandma again, I'm nana, I'm there. So I went from wheelchair to walking. I have my life back.